director of mechanobiology, the first of here, May 75 previous temporal system. 19 years and 10 months since the beginning of my research, to be exact. 24 years since the first infection. 10 months of the year 24, according to the current system, to be precise. Conclusion report concerning the DNIW project from Skina Valley's south facing slope, Vancouver. Original currently. Brief historical reminder. The 5th of July 2050, the green flu, a highly contagious level 4 biohazard, affected humanity. This disease plunges the individual into unconsciousness, forcing him or her to behave primitively and uses the host to obtain the cells it needs to develop. Only found in non mutated bodies obliging the individual to hunt the non-infected ones. Furthermore, this virus transforms biologically the infected being, giving it greater abilities to the detriment of other functions. No efficient treatment was so far. This report concerns one infected in particular, because she represents the first step toward the cure. During my journey, I get up a good number of accounts and rumors concerning her. It seems that she was located in several areas, quite far from the choices, which supposes that she's moving. Some say that there are several infected of this kind, that they managed to kill some, and they saw several ones at once, but I don't believe these versions. According to the very low probability of such a biological response, there can be only one. I also found drawings and words on walls about her. Some scouts with the camera, to the detriment of their lives, managed to record her. Yet, a lot of people think she's just a legend. A nickname was given to her. She is commonly called... The Witch. She is called this way because of the physical and psychological characteristics she shares with the mythical stereotype of the witch, popularized by the 16th century witch hunt. Indeed, it is told that her eyes glow red, comparable to black magic, that she has long and sharpened clothes, and the appearance of a young and frail woman to deceive the enemy, the same way the witch is used to borrow the appearance of defenseless women hiding among the population. Moreover, she seems to be extremely sly, attracting by her tears her targets that mistake her for a survivor to rescue. It is said that only fire can slow her down, such as fire that was the witch's weakness. Light seems to be her other weakness, since she always hides in the darkest places to rest. That's why I suppose she is only moving during the day, hiding her eyes as confirmed by the accounts. However, her behavior distinguishes her from the other infected. Some say that she does not want to care, and that she only attacks when provoked. Several groups confirm that she only killed the one who startled her, before running away and letting the others live. That's why they always try to avoid her. Before attacking, she tries to dissuade a startler by growling until one year. By this notion of revenge and dissuasion, this behavior looks a lot like a human behavior, unlike the other infected, whose only goal is to kill every survivor. Using her tears as lure proves a greater intelligence compared to the other infected, but in my opinion, she's not doing this to trap them. It would be proof of her emotions, as if her sadness showed that she was ashamed of what she had become. By the way, she wears tattered clothes that maybe prove a conflict between her will to stay human and the mutation. That's why she potentially represents hope for the cure. I believe that the mutation has not managed to entirely control her mind yet, and that the human side still remains inside herself. I like to study her metabolism response against the virus. Her blood is perhaps the key. Her past may be explained her unusual mutation. She must be in her 20s, which means that she was a child during the infection, 
However, children don't desire the contamination when transmitted from bugs. I suppose she was infected by an aerosol strain. She had to be out of reach not to have been bitten. She was maybe locked in a dark room for several years before releasing herself, which would explain her fearful behavior and the fact that she can't stand the light to be called off locked. Children better known as wild children. The virus allowed her to survive but stopped her cognitive capacity. She must have the same brain capacity as a little girl. I was told the last time she was seen, she was on Alcatraz Island on San Francisco Bay, Black Zone. It will be my next journey. See you soon. Maybe.